So if you're asking yourself a question at home, I need a laptop that is under $1,000 that is still really good. Well, I've got that laptop for you. I'm talking about the brand new Asus ZenBook 14 OLED. This is a beautiful looking laptop. That display looks gorgeous. Across the Spider-Verse uh, wallpaper looks fantastic. And yes, I'll have a link for you guys in the description of this video. But this laptop really sets the bar for under $1,000. Now, if you join us for the very first time, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, notification icon, so you can watch more videos like this. So, as I open up the ZenBook 14 OLED, the first thing you notice is that yes, it does open up to 180 degrees. You can see it, I can open this way, which is why you can see the laptop flat on the display. It has a couple of unique features. First thing, that is a 14 inch OLED display, 100% DCI-P3, yes, for what you have here. And this bad boy only weighs 3.6 pounds. It is a super light laptop to use, and it's something that I think a lot of people will appreciate. I'm gonna leave it here in this hinge format. You got a keyboard that feels really good, very great key travel. I like the way it feels while typing on this keyboard. You can feel it here, and also just the nice clicking nature of it. It's not super loud, but it's just, it's good enough. Very comfortable travel control. On the top row of this keyboard, though, you do have a bunch of function keys which are great. Yes, your standard volume, screen brightness, of course, keyboard brightness and that kind of stuff. But you also have quick access to your ASUS app, uh, which gives you a lot of functionality in there. Uh, you've got, of course, the power button that has a fingerprint sensor. Uh, you can also uh, block off your camera here uh, with a camera shield cover. And as I click that ASUS app, that brings up, of course, the uh, ZenBook app right here. And this app does a whole lot for you as you take a look at it. What I like about it is that also this device has a touchscreen, so I can navigate through. And in here, I can see a couple of things like my battery care, my fan performance, uh, uh, AI noise cancellation, especially when you're using the camera for voice controls, um, OLED screen care, 100% flicker, so I can go into customization and you can see it here, we've got a general tab, you can see the battery care, file profile, a fan profile, AI noise cancellation, performance, all that stuff is built into it, which is pretty nice. Now, the other thing about this laptop is the plethora of ports you get with it. This is not a laptop that just only has a lovely display and also a great uh, price point, but also the ports. So we take a look at it here on the right hand side, we have a multiple ports here. We have starting off a micro SD card slot. We do have two USB 3.2 Type-C 4 ports that support DisplayPort 1.4, headphone jack, and a HDMI 2.0 port. This is more ports than most laptops will give you now. And we flip over to the other side, we have a USB 3.2 USB-A port here. Now there are vents across the device all around, front as well as also the back, which you can see here giving you a lot of good cooling around the device. So now you're asking, what kind of performance or what do I get from this? Now this is powered by the brand new Ryzen 7000 series processor. And what I have here is the Ryzen 5 7530U. Now this hat comes with eight gigabytes of RAM as well as 256 gigabytes of storage. But as I mentioned, if you want more performance, go with the Ryzen 7 7730U. That comes with 16 gigabytes of, of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. Now the price point for both, whether it's the, the Ryzen 5 or the Ryzen 7 is Ryzen 5 starts at 699, the 7 of course is 869. So well under $1,000 and you're getting some really good performance. So what are you getting with that? First of all, let's talk about gaming, which I do like to do a lot. You're not gonna get a lot of high-end gaming, but you'll be able to play games like Overwatch 2 well into 60 frames per second on low settings. So those are the games you're looking at, at least with the Ryzen 5, which is what I have here. And also you can edit your videos on this uh, laptop quite effectively. And in terms of battery life, you're looking at roughly about 11 to 12 hours of battery life, at least in my use case scenario, which is really good and solid with this device. It does come with 65 watt charger and will charge up to 60% in 30 minutes. So you're getting some great performance there. Now, what about audio speakers? How do, well do they sound? Well, let's take a listen to a video on here and then we'll check a look at the webcam. <laughs> All right.
right, I'm going to give you two recordings. This is without any of the AI optimization with the microphone, but you see how the camera looks like on the webcam, 1080p recording. Now I'm going to switch over to uh, the AI optimization with omnidirectional mic. And now we have the omnidirectional microphone. It's a bit better, but this is capturing uh, the audio all around, but still blocking out the noise that you heard earlier. And now let's try the unidirectional mic. This is the unidirectional mic, so it's capturing directly, basically facing me. You can hear some cutouts there trying to block out the rest of the noise, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what those AI controls can actually do when using the webcam and microphone of uh, the Asus ZenBook 14 OLED. All right, so the microphone is decent on there. The webcam also is decent, nothing too crazy. But again, think about the whole package here and what you're getting with this. You know, you're getting a... Uh, a laptop that you can use uh, with really good battery life, a lot of ports, and also really great functionality, all for just under a thousand dollars, be it $699 or uh, $869. I think this is a very good buy, and I think if someone's looking for a budget laptop, the ASUS ZenBook 14 OLED is the way to go. An OLED display, usually with laptops like this, you're getting a full HD display that doesn't have really good resolution not a good colors and you can see how well it looks here. I'm just gonna just brighten that up for you so you guys can see how bright that is. Really lovely image, absolutely love it. 500 needs HDR. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So let me know what you think about this laptop. Do you think this is something you would pick up? Uh, if you will, or you want to, use the link down below. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.